what got you started with uh, wanting to do level design? And what was kind of that first spark of enlightenment that you're like, I just, I want to get into doing this. And mm-hmm. like, what was that, what was that initial thing for you that made you kind of want to get into maybe not even level design, but just game development in general? Like what's the first thing? Yeah. I'll, I'll try to keep it a little short, uh, okay. but at, at first I wanted to be a physical therapist, you know, okay. but then they, 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 like in 2015, they switched it to like a doctorate degree and I was like, I don't have that time to do that. So yeah. I've always played video games, like just like everyone else. Um, I noticed when I was as a little kid playing games, I'd take longer to to beat them, just because I would like actually take time to look at what was made and like just with the art that goes in the video games. Because I was the same with like Kingdom Hearts. That was my oh, you know, I took forever to beat that, but that's one of my yeah. that's in my top five easily. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Hearts Two is just so good, but oh. I'd always take longer than my friends to to like complete games. So I've always like had like a passion for them but then i don't know my mom always wondered why i didn't start into game design earlier um but i decided to take advantage of the university of utah's uh like a game design course i feel like i learned a lot more from like my friends and working on a game on my own and like youtube and just like twitter the level design people over there i learned a lot more from that than i did from school unfortunately right but i still think it helped me get a better understanding of what game design is right yeah you kind of have that that drive sort of outside of school that you keep pushing. And it's more like those that do really well, what they do succeed because they have that passion that's there before like having to go to school and then they kind of dread going to school kind of thing. And they're not really wanting to go into it kind of thing. You're like a completionist kind of person. So I, I, I'd say I'm sort of a completionist because like I want to be, but like there's some games that there's just so much to do. I don't complete it all. Um, yeah. But The Witcher 3, like I put easily like 2000 hours into that. From the time it's been out, because The Witcher 3 is my all-time favorite, but like that game's been 100% in multiple times just because it's so good. I don't know, what got me to level design was um, one of those classes I was in, we were making like some horror game, and I was responsible for, like, I, I was the only one, or none of us had like Unreal Engine and the Unreal Engine experience at all. Right. And we're like, we should really do that because like Unity, Unity's great and all, but Unreal is more like the more staple game engine, uh, even at AAA Studios. Yeah. So that's really nice to learn and understand how that works. We were making some horror game and I was responsible for like the whole, like the entire map that we made. I did like the level design and like the whole environment art side of it. Um, I'm, no, I'm no environment arts whatsoever. So it, it definitely doesn't look the best as it can be. But I was able to like get a more understanding of uh, level design as a whole and just really dive into Unreal Engine. Okay, so that's cool. So that's kind of where your introduction to Unreal kind of came from then was. Yeah, I'd say it was like 27. 17 maybe 2016 i'm not quite sure but but i did spend a lot of time in that in school and then like even outside of school you, you had to make like like this like i said the game design is an art um you want to show off what you can do and what you have done before so like make sure you're getting your portfolios up to par with other people that are already in the in the industry to like make to like join a big team and work on halo like i did it's it's important so no i totally get that 100 percent. and there's so much talent out there too so like it's really hard to compete um, like in, in any industry, which is just a lot of talent for for people to be hired on because they're so talented. Like I see all these aspiring level designers that haven't made it into the industry yet, and their work is just unreal. I'm like, I wish I had that type of work when I was trying to get into the industry. But I will say before you go to yes, the yes, next yes, yeah. one, a lot of people ask me about like school. Is it worth it? And it depends on where you're going. But for me. I, it wasn't worth it for me be, just because I had to go out on my own and learn things, uh, like learn about all the different game engines, Unreal, Unity, and even like had to, I learned how to model a bit, but as a level designer, you don't model too much. Like I had to go outside of school and work on things on my own time to learn more about the industry because what we, what I was taught like had nothing like didn't matter at all and like especially like our final like my final year we had a big capstone uh class that we would make a project for the last two or a game for the last two semesters and the game wasn't the best so we're like all right let's just finish this and get it on steam because that was the requirements to get it on steam and it's it was like some time slowing game um i, I still think I, I enjoy it quite a lot i still have, i still talk to other people that i worked on it with but the game was fun, but like we need to, we said like we need to sit down and work on our portfolios on our own time and like kind of put more effort to that because we all want to get into the industry. And I'm pretty sure all of us in that like 10 man group are in the industry somewhat. Um, yeah, they're doing something. I know some guys were like super big programmers and they work at tech companies now, which is great, but they're like not in the game industry, but they're still, they're still like happy where they're at because 
they took the time to learn and teach themselves all about what they can they can do to improve their portfolio. And some people had jobs lined up before they graduated, like me and some other uh, programmers. So 